Hey everybody, Sam Sam Cigar Man here. And uh, today I'm going to do a quick review for a company based out of Tampa Bay, Florida. And the name of that company is Bay Area Beard Company. Uh, the website is going to say biblicalbeards.com, which I'll drop a link down to below in the uh, description box for you guys to go check out the website and see what else they have to offer. Uh, a lot of the scents that Matt, who is the owner, creates, uh, he names them after biblical themes, if you will. <clears throat> With the exception of this one here that I'm going to talk about today. Uh, this one, I really dig. Uh, actually, I just want to talk about the labels and everything first. So this is called the Florida Blanca. And there's a little story behind the Florida Blanca, which I'm going to read to you off the website I have open here in front of me. But I think this is pretty cool artwork here that you have on the labels and everything. And I absolutely love this, this bamboo looking top here. It's a dropper top. Um, this is obviously um, brown bottles and everything like that, but... Uh, very awesome oil here. It's nice and uh, yellow tint to it. Uh, I'd say about medium viscosity. Uh, the ingredients, if I can find them here. Sweet almond oil, golden jojoba oil, Moroccan argan oil, avocado oil, Jamaican black castor oil, essential oil, and fragrance oils. Uh, this one here, the Florida Blanca, uh, which is a bay rum, pipe tobacco, black oud, black coconut, and black sea uh, fragrances mixed into this. I absolutely love this scent here. Um, <clears throat> matter of fact, when I open it up, you immediately get that that bay rum smell and some of that sweet uh pipe tobacco smell to it uh this is a scent that will last you pretty much all day long i'm actually wearing it in beard today uh this one i should go back and purchase the balm and butter for this this is excellent uh something to keep on your shelf at all times and I absolutely love the story behind the Florida Blanca. So I'm going to read it to you off the website here. It is, uh, the legend states that Jose Gaspar, whose name literally means last of the buccaneers, terrorized the western coastal waters of Florida in the late 18th to 19th century. Most stories agree he has an aristocratic Spanish Navy officer who later turned pirate. Gaspar is said to have commandeered a ship donned with the name Florida Blanca to escape to a harbor near Fort Myers. From then on, he swore an oath to take revenge on Spain and any other Spanish ships that he saw. Gaspar went on to attack and plunder more than 300 ships. Tampa Bay has celebrated the life and legend of Jose Gasparilla for more than 100 years with a large parade and festival known as the Gasparilla Pirate Fest or Gasparilla Fest. Uh, this scent right here is going to commemorate that festival that is an annual tradition in Tampa Bay. And again, this is a really awesome scent. I I absolutely love this one here. And I, I love pirate-themed stuff. I live in eastern North Carolina, uh, you know, the home and death of Blackbeard uh, it was not too far from where I currently live at. Yeah, so I love the history, anything pirate related. I just find it awesome. Um, <clears throat> but this right here, I'm, I'm telling you guys, Bay Area Beard Company, biblicalbeards.com. Again, I'll drop a link down below for his website. Uh, this one right here, the Florida Blanca. Bay rum, pipe tobacco, black oud, black coconut, and black sea. Amazing scent, great in beard. The avocado oil does amazing for my beard hair and for my skin, uh, along with everything else that he has mixed in here. Phenomenal scent. I highly recommend this if you guys are new to 
his company. Uh, this is one I'm going to say for you to at least give it a shot, give it a try. You will not be disappointed. Uh, again, I'm going to go back and give me the balm and the butter that goes with this. And I'm going to order me some more and keep it in stock on my shelves. So this is a quick review for Matt over at Biblical Beard or Bay Area Beard Company. Go check them out. And uh, until next time, you guys uh, go grab a cigar and chill uh, because it is approximately 8.30 in the morning. I'm sipping coffee. What better way to get the morning started than to have a cigar? And that's what I'm going to do. Peace.